All right, so these are the tools that you'll need. You'll need a screwdriver, a T15, a pair of pliers, or what I'm using are my splicers, a 7mm ratchet, some, something like that. I got my little screwdriver thing. I got my little cup holder that I'm ready to fuse in. This is the radio bezel that we're going to be removing. This is the console lid that we'll be taking off as well. And this one's a custom console lid from DS Customs, DSV Customs. Alright, so we'll start with the console lid. Normally it is a T15 on these. Mine are a little different. I put in the, uh, the Phillips head styles. And this might take me a little bit longer than usual because I'll be using a... Well, I'll be using one hand to do this as opposed to the two hands that I'm used to. So, you might be able to do this a little bit quicker than I can. Just because the uh, the amount of hands available to you. Alright, so we're almost done with the console lid. And be careful not to strip the screws. Of course, like I said, I got larger screws with the Phillips. Alright, normally what you would have here, these two screws here would be T15s too. I've changed mine out to be 7 millimeters as well. Same thing, I just like a little bit thicker screw. Not used to doing everything one handed. And you see I got my little iPod mounted in here with the iPod cables and everything else. And the money my wife hasn't found, the, the quarter and the dimes and the nickels and the pennies. Alright, next we're going to go ahead and lift up the e-brake handle. And underneath here, so you just pop it up. Pull it up. Like I said, it's a little bit difficult with one hand. And you can probably see that there are... Oops, let me see if I can get a good picture for you. Or at least get good video. There are two 7mm screws here. So there's one here. Let's see, I can't even see the point. There's one here and one here. I'll show you that from that side because... That was just my console lid thing coming down. Alright, so we're getting that one. And all this does is it separates the radio bezel from the piece over here called the ham bone. See what the, the stitching is right there? Alright, get this other one done. And believe it or not, those are the only four things that actually hold the radio bezel in. Everything else is just pretty much clips. Of course, mine's a little thicker, so what I'm going to do is actually pull the hand bone down and out of the way because i got leather side skirts and everything else, so it kind of doesn't give me as much room. All right, close that back up. All right, so what you're going to do now is from this bottom side here, pick up. Then you hear like a clip. Then from there, kind of pull from the top. Oh, kind of went back on me. Same thing. And I have an automatic, so what you have to do is put it into accessory mode. Put it into, and we got the e-brake handle on. Put this back so you can actually pull it back. On the standard, you'll actually have to take the uh, the shifter knob off. All right. So what you'll do first is take this one off here, and there's actually a little push at the bottom, and I'm gonna pull it out and I'll show you. There's just a little little push right here. You push 
from the bottom and pull it out. I don't actually have the heat seater warmer thingies, so I won't mess with those. But what I'll tell you is all it's pretty much the same thing. It's a little push type release. Okay, so next, let's pull this out a little bit. You can pull the cigarette lighter on. And thank God I took the little blue clippy off. The retaining clip. So now all I gotta do is just push this in. See this? You just push that in where my thumb is, push it in and pull it out. Next, that'll give me a little bit more room. Let's see. To kind of go from underneath. I don't know if you can actually see. But we actually have the the Tour Sport and everything else. That's what mine is. And not all cars actually have this, but all cars are wired for it. And I'll probably just have to pull it from underneath, from, from field, and show you what it looks like. Okay, where it is? Okay, there's the release. And it's the same style. It's a, a push-pull type deal. Okay, I'm going to have to try to set this up a little bit. I'll set it to where you can kind of see where I'm going because I need two hands for this part. Alright. Lastly is, let's see if you can see, I'm trying to get to my traction control button. Finagle this thing now to maneuver up and over or not. I got so much wiring in here, it's not even funny. If I remember correctly, they got like, uh, let's see. Here. Make a little release. I'm trying to get my little chubby fingers in there. Alright, I'm going to put you down for a minute again and see if I can't get to that. Alright. Oh, it was a cigarette lighter. And of course on this cigarette lighter I've actually got the little blue retaining clip. I'll show you a picture of it. But honestly, you're probably better off throwing the thing away after you're done because the push style clip works just fine. control button. So on the traction control button, let me see if I can see. You see here, that's what the traction control button looks like. And everything is actually disconnected now from the radio bezel. So I'll actually pull that aside and show you everything that's underneath. So this is the one for the cigarette lighter. I was telling you it's got the little push button. This is the one for the, um, oh, what do they call it? The emergency lights. This is the one for your F55. And these are the wires we'll actually be tapping into. This is the one for your traction control. It looks like you got a, just, a, just a positive and a negative. No, that's, uh, that's your cigarette lighter. I'm sorry. This is that blue retaining clip. You just pop that thing out and throw it away. This is your uh, your traction control. So you got three wires here. And if I were to guess, I would probably say that this gray and black is your positive for your lamp. Your black is probably going to be your negative. 
and then this one will probably be your feed to the computer. Alright, so what are we going to do next? We're going to go ahead and flip, this. well, let me get everything out of my cup. Well, I guess I don't need to. We're actually going to flip this over and show you what the cup holder looks like underneath. This is the cup holder. And let me see, okay, there's my Phillips. They're still on my console. You got a screw here. to do with the one hand. Got another one here. And then see that big box right there? That's actually what your um, your F55 looks like from underneath. Alright, so there's your cup holder. So if you ever have to fix it, because if it ever comes off the trails or whatever, see those little little trails, they do come off. I'm going to put all that in there because I only will be needing these little things here, which is a T-tap connection. And I have two of them. Alright, so what we talked about is 5 and 6 being the ones that you're going to use. So 5 and 6. Let's see if I can get to it. Okay, pin 5. Let's see if I can separate this a little bit. Pin 5. Let's see if you can see it. Let's see if it will focus a little bit. Anyway, this is pen 5, is kind of a gray and black. Pen 6, which is this one, is your negative. So, I'm going to tap into these real quick. So, give me just a second, because I will need both hands to tap this uh, T-tap in. Okay, 